Hi, right, it's the old Duffer again. Do you remember, probably six months ago now, I bought some cheapo uh, Gore-Tex type gear and was going to try it out. It's ideal for youngsters, you know, just getting into it. Uh, motorcycle and that. Um, just sort of give it a go. Well, all through the summer months, I'd take the lining out. It, it's so good on wind resistance. And it was so warm, I took the lining out. And obviously, now we've had some lovely wet weather. As you can see, my poor old bike is plastered. Um, I'm going to wash it tomorrow and along with the uh, gear it's plastered but I stayed really warm and dry. I've been riding in the snow and ice um, and the wet that we've had afterwards. It's funny, before the bad weather came all the, um, the adventure guys are out on their big adventure bikes and their nice fancy pants, uh, aluminium luggage and all the bits and the moment they get snow and icy they've all disappeared and it's a little old me on my 40 year old bike with my homemade luggage and uh, e eBay bargain basement waterproofs out in the snow and ice. Not that I recommend you go out in the snow and ice if you're not experienced. Um, but certainly when it all thawed, we could have all got back out on our bikes again. But guess what? The guys with the heated vests and the heated gloves were nowhere to be seen. So, um, burr, buck, buck, again, it uh, springs to mind. Um, but there you go. I actually think if this gear lasts a year, because um, I don't have a car at the moment. I sold my two vans and my car because I got sick to death of maintaining things. I've only got this and another bike. Uh, that's it. It's either that or walk. Um, that ain't going to happen. And to get to the main road from where I live off grid um, can get a little tricky when it's snowy and icy. But, you know, so we will see how this goes. I'm very impressed of the quality um, and the fact that it kept me incredibly warm when it was minus eight without a wind chill where we were when it was snowy. Um, and frosty and I was not cold and I've got no heated gear no heated gloves I've got nothing I just managed to get hold of a screen so I actually think for the money I think the whole lot was less than 90 quid uh, yeah I'm most impressed with it anyway that was just a quick one because I said we'd do an update on it and there is so much going on in this workshop for the new year I don't know when I'm coming or going but I'd like to wish everybody out there a very Merry Christmas don't drink and drive because you'll spill it all right and we'll see you in the new year